of his really good disjoints and how good of a projectile power wave is. This man has just been shooting the gun all night long, and Final Destination is a great map for that as well. And I've just noticed how large the, like, the power wave is. It was able to like intercept the arrow. So that's definitely going to be a tool we're going to see a lot in this matchup. So if Extra is going to want to make sure that he has uh, any type of fire arrow presence, it's going to be through a lot of aerial pressure or close range utilizing it for hit confirms. Yep. Otherwise, Trey is going to have himself a wonderful time being able to pick through that, jump over wow. its standing range. It's going to be a lot of two-piecing from Trey. But he's already fishing for the kill pretty early on. Not to be surprised. And his ledge trapping right now is absolutely ridiculous. Like, actually, is racking up so much percent. He has to be careful about jumping up because that is something we've seen from Dre quite a bit. He just did a drag down forwarder into a down tilt into another area. Really beautiful stuff. A little bit of a three-piece combo over on extra O's side. Really nice to see. Although, now he's got to be careful because Dre's got uh, just a little bit of better of uh, panic options. But Power Dive manages to break first blood for winner's finals. I mean, you just saw extra O's shield depleting and depleting. That was definitely a shield pump. Well, he released it preemptively. But extra oh, evening it up right, like, so quickly. I feel like there's going to be a lot of instances where extra O can equalize the damage as well as stocks as they go. So to see where the momentum heavily shifts, I think, is going to be the most entertaining yep. for this particular set. Because look at that, it already climbed to 82, but we know that Young Link can manage to get him his boots on the ground confidently enough. Extra O can just build that up really quickly. Yep. And right now, Dre is just like, doing an amazing job of just keeping extra O in the corner, but the overextension with the, I believe, I, forgive me on the names, but with the side B, um, is going to cause him to drop a little bit of stage control. Extra, of course, getting the B into up air. That up air does, I believe, 16% damage. Such a potent up air. There's so, there's, both of these characters have so much damage on the board when it comes to like, what they can do. So I'm not too surprised. And I love the safe poking from Dre. That's pretty signature of how he approaches Smash, but in general with with Terry, <laughs> he has such a okay. good idea of how he's <laughs> able to just swing on someone and make every swing matter. And a great call out. Power Geyser is massive. Not just the particle effect, but the actual hitbox itself. And it's a great coverage tool for any jump from the ledge. Yep. This does so much damage. The hitbox is absolutely massive. Right now, that is going to be the F throw, not killing Terry quite yet. Terry is really, really heavy. He is almost like in the class of like Supers? No. No, he's not that heavy. Not but he, he's a big he's, boy, yeah. so he's going to be surviving a lot unless Extra O puts some big effort into killing him. Look at that, even at 200, forward air not getting done. And that is Young Link's kill, though, so that's really surprising just to see that not kill quite yet. That's going to be jab, jab into. Oh, okay. Like, Buster Wolf is so good to use in neutral like that because it's. Like, look at the damage that managed to yeah. rack up. Dre only had one interaction where he was really in control, and Extra O sits on nearly 60 and counter. And just like dealing more and more, you have to be able to SDI out of the jab jab power they don't get. It's not completely true. Fantastic drag down back here into up B. And now, and what I've noticed like from Joey a lot especially is he'll be hitting um, extra O shield and then he does like a really safe like 30, 33, 33, 33, or safe 50, 50 by like trying to catch a goal and oh my god. Nah, good DI is keeping him around. Yeah. You know, from center stage, a little bit behind the center stage line. Not going to kill, but Extra needs to be careful, especially now. Plenty of options available to try to end up the stock. Gonna be care oh, no, uh, just going to run in and down smash. Slight is working out really nicely for Dre as he takes game one. And I feel like Extra O, I mean, Extra could have easily snapped to ledge, but I think he was trying to anticipate, um, he was trying to anticipate Dre Charles running in, maybe trying to down tilt that ledge or something. But uh, regardless, not being able to find it, he's going to lose uh, the g stock and the game as a result after all. Um, I'm just thinking, what could Extra, do, Extra O do to alleviate all the pressure that Dre is putting on him? It's going to be difficult because I feel like a lot of what Dre's doing is just really smart counter-offensive for the projectiles. A lot of power wave to check the grounded fire arrows. Bomb wasn't really that much of a factor. And anytime we saw the boomerang, we saw Terry's Nair. Yeah, Terry's Nair, I think, is an excellent move against any type of projectile character because it gives you that safe in. It also gives you a safe peel. Like, we see mm -hmm. Dre using it in multitudes of ways, whether or not he needs a retreat or it's starting up something for him. So, so many follow-ups out of it. I think what Extra O might benefit from is doing a lot of approaching, retreat, try to bait out something, force Dre to commit to an option, mm -hmm. and then blow him up for it because Dre is picking very safe buttons to press, and he's only really mashing the ones he's in total control. Yep, and also I just want to admire right now 
Dre's composure. You saw him close his eyes, take a deep breath. His eyes are like, like deadpan on the screen. Like he is completely focused and he really, really wants us. He wants to make it to Grants. And like you just see extra oh, like clinging. Maybe, I don't want to say desperation, but definitely, you know, maybe not as composed as Dre right now. I mean, it's, it's hard to fight that type of focus as far as a comparison is concerned, but Extra has a great way of being able to shift momentum pretty heavily. And Young Link's tools accommodate that so well, especially while he's got control of the ledge. So, so long as he can at least keep Dre from being able to press any of those safer buttons, no. I think he'll be okay. And I feel like it's worth noting, we see it already a lot more in, from Extra O in this game than in game one. Young Link's Snare is nothing, you know, short of incredible itself. Like, yeah. that's a move that could break Extra out of a lot of problems. Absolutely, that nail is so fast. It's safe on shield, it has almost no startup, and the down nail is going to take out the stock. It is such a do-it-all move. It combos, it kills. It is easily one of Young Link's most potent aerials in his kit. That is going to be the jab, jab, power dunk. Extra O is anticipating maybe a mix-up out of it. That's why he dropped the shield preemptively, but um, J. Charles is staying one step ahead. Ooh! We tap dancing on a boy now. All right. Right now he has a bomb. So... The reason why Extra L has a bomb, it does so many like different things for them at once. If he committed to an up B after he got out of uh, got up, like did like neutral get up off the ledge, that bomb could have exploded, letting him like easily reset neutral. But the back here off stage is a fantastic commitment from Dre. I think one thing that Extra L needs to realize is that Boomerang is not getting him a lot of mileage. Mm -hmm. Like it's not really providing a lot of shield pressure. It's not gathering stage control well. Dre has a very good idea of how well he can contest it. Yep. Fire Arrow and Bomb, on the other hand, they're getting the job done. And Nair, now that it's being more incorporated into Extra O's game plan, I feel like it's a better option to, to just control space, or at least contest it. Meanwhile, Dre, Arrow waves away. It's such a good projectile, especially while Extra O stays grounded. If we start seeing more, like, short hop Fire Arrows, perhaps, we might see a bit of a change. And right now, from what I would especially like to see from Dre is perhaps, I mean, uh, from Extra O is he's noticing that Dre is spot dodging at every single turn after, like, in, in some, like, scrappy situations. So maybe go for an up B instead of, like, a pivot grab that we see him throughout quite a lot. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Water read, okay. Doesn't manage the kill just yet, but expends the power time diving down, and we miss the tech. All right, Extra O takes himself the lead. And look at that, like you see Extra O holding a shield. He's expecting a jab, jab, power dunk. And that is like, it makes the mix up potential from Terry so scary. That is going to be the side B not killing quite yet. He does not have enough rage, only at 8%. While Extra O has a full shield, or at least very close to it, it's worth so much to shield because Terry cannot get a lot off of the throw. Like, his grab game is not as strong as you would expect of a powerhouse character. Like he does have a grab into his up B, which just deals so much damage. Like, it can deal with 30-something from one throw. It does, but it's also a percentage reliant. Mm -hmm. And given the climbing percentages on both sides, it's going to be a bit screwy. Oh, my God. Ankle I check! That was so brilliant from Extra O. He had the stage, and he just kept on applying pressure. He had a fire arrow. He had a boomerang. He was doing a tech chase while all of that. So, that was just, like, that That's was... Actually incredible from Extra O. Make note about how when Dre was not able to establish stage control with Power Wave, you really had no safe peel. Yep. There was nothing to really prevent Extra O from coming in and just start pressing all the buttons. Mm -hmm. He was in position for every tech chase. Absolutely. He was able to occupy space every time Nair could have gotten something. He got it done. Yep. So I think really good adaptations on Extra O's half. I'm curious to see what Dre does to change things up because I feel like if Dre focused more of a breakaway, start to utilize Nair and Fair as manners of getting, uh, as having Terry just break off without leading into something. Reset neutral into his favor, that way he could start to tr uh, try and pull yeah. ahead. But we'll see if that happens as we pick up the final destination for the next game. Mm -hmm. um, going back to FD, of course, Dre would like to go back to the stage just as well he won, but I would like to see actually uh, apply all of like, the different modifications he's made. I believe they went to Town City for game two. 28% um, so, like, Whenever you have a follow-up out of a jab, just in general, that is so good. The jab is non-committal. You can react if you don't connect it. Like, t t the fact that Terry has routes out of his jab is almost reminiscent of, of Smash 4, where jab 1 was such a reliant starter to so much. Mm -hmm. And 
it's funny because Dre was so proficient in that game with multitudes of characters because of that. So to find him at home with Terry's kid is not too surprising, yeah. but FD is extra at his home now. He's the one with the... Uh, he got the pink slips for this Jay one. has to watch out for those defensive options. Something like, I think he do actually air dodge downwards. And that's what got him hit by the F smash. So he has to be really, really careful of that. Fantastic parry into an up B. That's going to be a back air. He's missed the drift on the second back air. Maybe he expected it to have a little bit more knockback. And hence why he did the double jump like that. Dragged. Oh Huge my god. I like it. These combos oh are really god. cute. For like, look at this pressure. This game is a runaway so far. I Extra noticed. O's punish game. These last two games just keep, seems to be getting better and better. He's getting so much mileage off of just one hit. It's absolutely insane. I don't think he got touched during that second stop. Not at all. I think Andrew was just bored. Look at this. Look at this. How is he supposed to land? The How's true projectile hell. I think uh, Trey robbed himself into a corner on this one. This is looking kind of bleak. He's not Ooh. out of it just yet, especially as he manages to take back a stock. However, actually, O's got a full stock lead ahead of him. Got all the time in the world to try and build up that pressure. And look at that, the wall already starts to reestablish itself. Yep. And I really like that actually, it just took like a second to take a deep breath because um, a character like Terry, especially prone to come back. And right there, that is where you see the grab into the up and into up That's cute. Um, another great job, Jeff Powerdunk. And it seems like right now he was going for a really hard like jump read. I, I believe Powerdunk can spike. I. Uh, I think it has a downwards, it, it, but it's not like a spike spike. Not like it's down air. It's yeah. down air annihilates you. And now I want to see right now Dre maybe be a little bit like in game one what really worked for him are those power waves, which protected him so much. Yo, the approach with Buster Wolf? Really a madman. That is going to be it, yeah. All right. Dre has to be like, Dre had the right idea, but like even a little tiny hitbox could just be enough to get him. Um, when you're a character like Terry, your recovery is so limited, it's so linear. Granted, it has a giant hitbox on top of it, but, you know, you need something with a lot of distance to be able to commit to something like that. Indeed, and very brave of Dre to pick back into Final Destination, considering how overwhelming the game was mm -hmm. for uh, Extra O. But, gotta believe in the man with the plan. Yep. Although, I do want to bring up about how that was the first time we really start to, uh, started to see Extra O exploit the poor recovery options from mm -hmm. Terry. Even though Dre has been very good with pacing himself Three, off stage two, and with choosing his distances to snap yeah. to ledge, it's still a very exploitable recovery. Right now, oh my god, like Dre is like waiting for extra O to go or do something out of shield. He's just dashing back, just saying, do something, do something. And he's ready with those punishes. And right there, those power waves, that is going to be his means in to stop that fire arrow so he can do something. Jab, jab, power arrow. You gotta love it. It's just such a damage. Yeah. Oh, that's how we saw the boomerang actually keep him there a little bit longer. And like, that's I understand cute. why Dre is like so desperate to get back to stage. Like, you see him go for like air dodges, like on top of the ledge, not even snapping. Um, but he has to find a way to maximize his patience just to pick the right option. Oh my god. Yeah, this is really a ridiculous game. Like. Game three is pretty overwhelming, what? but Trey brings himself back into it. And he just brought it around. Buster Wolf. I mean, Dre is insane. Like, like Dre is. He's not out of it just yet. He's he, not out of it at all. Dre is the type of player who knows that so long as he's got at least one stock left, as long as there's still a game left in the set count, he's not out of it. Yeah. And I just love the way that he is maximizing the distance of his up B so that he has like as little of a chance to get two frames to just like hit above the ledge. So like really, really just like smart from him. Look at that, maximizing the distance. So that is the best way to recover this, Terry. You're gonna be basically like untouchable all the way through. Huh. Also, he's been very selective when he's trying to use crack shoot to cover the distance. Yeah. I'm not entirely a fan of the power dunk that he threw out the second time. It was definitely like a reactable distance to extra uh, Actually, bringing it back with his ledge trapping and the boomerang actually snuffing out the get-up attack. I like that. The aggressive grab inwards, stopping the power dive. Very smart. I like that Extra has now started to get a lot heavier on the zoning aspect of Youngling's kit whenever he sees that Dre is not put, like mm -hmm. threatening power wave. Like, Dre is clearly not comfortable with the amount of space that Extra has in his control. 
And I just love the way that extra O this set so far. It's just alternating between what am I going and what am I, what have I properly conditioned him to the point that I have such a strong lead that I can run up and grab him. Power Gazer Whip is gonna manage to drop a stock up for Dre. And that is beautiful from Mexico. He noticed, hey, Dre is using all of these spot dodges. He's so, he's just gonna throw out an up smash. It's active for so long. And even though that up B, like, is really, really, like, fast and somewhat safe on shield, like, obviously, if you parry it, I think that was just, like, a fantastic punish. Yeah, no, you have to parry the last hit if, you want, if you're aiming to punish it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you need something along the lines of, like, a like a frame three out of shield option, something of the nature, frame three, frame four, or faster. Yeah. Like, not a lot of characters have that in their kits, mm -hmm. let alone have something that's like dependable as a reversal option. Mm -hmm. I digress. It still leaves us in a position where Dre's just throwing it out now. Yeah, oh my god. And this is gonna be so hard to see. Okay, he's still able to hold it. He's yeah. With the charge down. version, he's fine. And because <laughs> Extra O was in front of him, the returning boomerang did not hit Dre Charles. Had it been going on the other side, that would have been completely a burden. Which is just... Oh, it's such a specific interaction that you just can't help but appreciate it. Like, I'm also pretty sure that Buster Wolf has armor uh, upon successful landing, so like... Huh. I don't think things can interrupt it once it's, like, set. I like what Dre was going for, but that, that was kind of uh, a rough one. Either way, that is 3-1 for Extra O. He cements his place in Grand Finals for tonight. Like, I really appreciate Dre's, like, he wanted to go hit the bomb so that he can, but he could have made it with the charge at B. I think so. He also had the option of crack shooting, which would have been really dangerous, but yep. it's there. Nonetheless, like, mm -hmm. with all that pressure that Extra O is able to put out, it's no wonder that, like, this, this is where the Titan falls. Yep.